Hello, people of New World. It's me, Lamani, and welcome back to the channel. And today, I have every New World gamer's favorite thing, and that is a chest run. But not just that. How to do them solo, not play with anybody else, so that you can grind things to get better in the game and still not play with other people. Today, we have the new Forge chest run. If you aren't aware, it's located over here in Ebonscale Reach, almost in Brimstone. And there is a very, very important reason as to why we are actually doing this run and why I'm telling you to do it. That is Flame Cores. If you don't know what a Flame Core is, we'll have other content on the channel covering it, but essentially it is a new bind on pickup crafting material that you will need to upgrade your heart runes to get new casts that will give you shards and potential bis drops and to craft the new trophy. It is a very, very limited material and it's something that you will need a lot of, so we need something that will guarantee some drops. Now, in the Forge, it does have a lot of high elites, just like any other elite chest run. It's not very long, but every single box here has a chance to drop one. If it's an elite chest, it has a 50% chance to drop. If it's even something like a supply crate or something very small, which is why we're covering everything, it has a 15% chance to drop. You also have about a 5% chance to drop from any enemy in here. So it's pretty much worthwhile because we need a way to continuously farm these. Your only other option is going to be farming open world mobs. There's two other locations where you can farm these. Again, I'll cover that in a separate video. Otherwise, it's going to be spamming the new Empyrean Forge expedition and just crossing your little fingers. Something to note, sometimes you might have to reset a couple times. You may have just seen I picked up a chest just a few seconds ago where a guy hit me with an axe as I picked it up. Just the beauty of New World, sometimes you can slip it in, sometimes you can't, ladies and gents. So, just reset them if you need to. This room with the hammer guy, you're going to want to reset behind the log here. You might have to re-aggro and de-aggro and just bounce them around a little bit, but there's two chests, you're going to have to do this at least twice. I found it's best for the big old hammer man to go over there, and then to get the elite chest, we jump on these metal plates, grab it, people will still aggro. If they do happen to hit you, just jump back on and reset it. It's that simple, and then wait it out until they go away. You might need to shoot the ranged mobs. They will all de-aggro at the same time and retreat. Continue around the loop through the flames, and then we'll jump up on these boxes. You're probably gonna get knocked down a couple times, but as long as you stand on top of one and sit there, they won't be able to hit you with their basic attacks. This will just let you grab this supply crate and you can walk right over to the other one without aggroing anything else and you'll have zero issues. If you do happen to aggro someone there, just go back on top of the boxes and then we'll go through this big gate. Now we have a couple options on this side. I think it's best just to jump down here and you either play on the umbrella crate or you can jump on the boxes right next to you or even the barrels up front. Some of these people won't even move like the big sword guy. That's potentially a bug, but... Again, we should be able to drop aggro on any of these objects. That's the beauty of New World. You find a small elevated surface and nothing will be able to hit you and will definitely run away, making your solo chest run possible. So as you go up the stairs, you're going to have a few options. You could go all the way up and do the back half of the run and then fall down over here at the end. I find it's easiest to go over here, potentially struggle a little bit and get killed and use this to drop all your aggro. Normally, you wouldn't have this many things chasing you around if you're smart. You'll go over to the elite chest and then you can pretty much crouch walk over and never aggro anything. They may aggro onto you as you climb on top. Something you'll notice is if you crouch, you will be less likely to draw attention from mobs. So just use those elevated surfaces and keep going. Overall, this chest run is just one big loop and you just follow the path and find your little nooks and crannies that you can tuck into. Up here, you'll see it's best just to climb over here. You'll be surprised how many times it took me to find this spot. Climb up the tower rest in peace old monarch's castle where heaters used to hang out and you'll go up here and you'll find a nice little spot tucked in this bunk bed climb up top you can use these bunk beds in a lot of spots as you saw in the beginning to drop aggro you will get hit a couple times especially by ranged mobs if you have any trouble where you still have residual mobs just drop them again on top of your bunk bed once you go up the stairs there is one guy that will keep aggroing onto you who pats up here and maybe one from down below you'll always drop these two on top of these boxes and as long as you don't move too far forward you'll never aggro the boss if you go and hit the farthest elite chest first and then crouch walk over to the second one he will not pull onto you and you can get both of them now talk if you're listening this one's for you or anybody else who's dense enough to die up here on your way up you do have a cheeky backdoor route if you are familiar with the old merc guard fire staff stuff you can use burnout to get over the fence and get right to the castle front door so that you can reset or if you're just, you know, want to slip it in the back door, up to you, you can go through and do it this way. So once you've grabbed both chests, you'll simply run out the main door, 
go down the stairs and you can jump over the wall right here and reset any enemies that are chasing you. If you need to and you pull some extra, use any of these boxes. You'll simply run around the circle and you're going to be heading towards that big boat in the background. You'll run down this dock and the next chest you'll be grabbing is in that boathouse on the right side. We'll obviously pull a couple enemies, but the big thing to note is there will be one enemy in the doorway. You have to hit them with a ranged attack so they start to walk out so you don't get stuck and killed right here. It will happen if you don't do that. To drop aggro, you simply just need to crawl on the box in the corner and then you can grab the supply crate. So if you happen to mess up aggro here, you can climb on top of this little rooftop, but you'll drop everything when you climb on top of the boat. Now, excuse the shift to nighttime. I promise you I didn't die because I don't suck at the game. But you'll just sit up here, you'll drop aggro. You may need to kill this single mob because sometimes you'll get a weird aggro bounce. So I just do there. And then you'll drop down, grab the chest. Sometimes this mob will aggro onto you and hit you with one of those grenades. So be a little bit careful. You might have to do that more than one time. And the last chest is over in here. You'll just use the bunk bed and then you can reset and grab it. Otherwise, that is it. There are no more chests. Remember, this is important to get flame cores. You can sit here and farm these, but it's also just another daily addition if you are a chest run gamer and like that high octane content. So if you need anything else, DM me on Discord. Hit me up on Twitch when I'm streaming. I'm streaming every single night at nighttime, somewhere around 3 p.m. Central Time, and then going until 8. Otherwise, drop a comment below. I hope this helps, but this will be a great addition to your chest running content. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, and thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. Peace.